Hello everybody. Today's video is going to look at a feature in the AIM software which is known as user profiles. And this is particularly useful for a number of reasons, but one of the things that we're finding is happening more and more is that people are all using different AIM systems. Some, like me, have an MXL2 full dash, others have a solo DL which is gathering some engine information from the ECU, and others are using a simple GPS-based AIM solo. So how do you easily compare the data on screen without having to reconfigure the view every single time you log in and every time you want to look at the data. So we're going to run through a quick demonstration of that. On the screen right now I have a view which I set up using my MXL2 that is recording all sorts of additional information on the screen that allows me to be able to do some comparison with the extra channels I have. I have GPS speed, I have RPM from the car, I have pedal position which gives me throttle position sensor, I have brake pressures, I have steering input overlaid with latitude and acceleration which gives me a view in terms of the overall time distance comparison of these two laps that I'm looking at as I'm looking at my own data. However, if somebody came across and said, okay, I'd like to compare that data with information that I've gathered to do some driver to driver analysis, but they have an AIM solo uh, instead of an MXL2. So one of the things that we can do is we can go in and say, okay, well, let's have a look at that as a view. But before we do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the view that I have right now in a user profile view because what's going to happen is I'm going to have to change the way the screen looks. So above here, and I've already got four created, which are my own ones, which I use when I'm racing. I'm going to click on user profiles. I'm going to click this button that says create new profile. I'm going to say James's uh, MXL to view. And I'm just going to click on OK. And you can see it appears here as a view that, that sits there right now. Now what I can do is I can go into my test database and it just so happens for this I have a, uh, a, a session which I knew was recorded just on a uh, MXL, sorry, I beg your pardon, was just recorded on a solo. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to open it up, just check the notes to make sure it's the right one. So James, Saturday, solo only, just going to click on that and open it up. And one of the things that I'm going to do as well is I'm going to take out just, just have the fastest lap from the MXL2 and I'm going to change the solo lap to blue for comparison to be able to show. Now when I go to the measures graph, there's going to be gaps. And you can see that because on the left hand side it shows which channels are available from which system, the blue one's coming from the solo, which is predominantly GPS based, where there are all these additional sensors that are coming from the uh, they're coming from the AIM solo. So in this instance, what I can do is I can say, okay, well, I don't have RPMs coming from the solo, so I can switch that off. I don't have brake pressure coming from there, so I can switch that off. I don't have pedal position uh, or throttle position, so I don't have that, so I can switch that off. And I also don't have steering angle, um, so I can switch that off too and just leave it at that. And so right now, in terms of that view, I've set it up so in this view, I'm just seeing GPS speed. Now, based on previous videos that you've seen of mine, you notice that uh, I often use longitude and acceleration as a good view of being able to get an idea of uh, if it decelerates or the trail goes down, that's deceleration, and if it goes up, that's acceleration. And because I was using a, a different view in, in uh, the software, remember if you click on this button here that shows all the graphs tiled, you click on that and now you've got them in the right order. So you should be familiar with this view from the previous videos that we have. And so here you can see that we've got the traditional view that you would look at with somebody who's using a solo. Now what I can do is I can say, great, that's my solo view, that's everything that I want to be able to see, and that's fantastic. So you do your analysis and everything that's good. However, if that person goes away, and says, okay, well, no problem, thanks very much, we've done the analysis, wanted to look at the data, and that leaves you to go back and look at the additional data that you have from your existing dash, what a nuisance it would be to have to go in there and have to start recreating that session again. So you go in and say, okay, well, they've gone now, so let me close down the solo view, which means that now I have to go in and build out the RPMs again and the brake position and throttle position sensors and all those sort of variables that were there. It's a bit of a nuisance going backwards and forwards and changing the view. However, because I saved this as a user profile before, notice it's still there, it says James MXL2 view. If I click on that button, it reloads the view that I had. I can go back into my laps and find my fastest laps that were in there, which is there. And now I'm back very quickly to analyzing the data that I needed to look at. And it's a really useful feature to be able to help you toggle backwards and forwards between views without having to reconstruct the um, measures graph view every time you put it in there. And if you notice, I interestingly also have one in here for uh, simple GPS analysis. So if I click on that one, 
it goes back to the view that you can see was just the previous view which just happens to include just the GPS data so I can see that simple view as well. Now interestingly when you're on track and you want a quick view depending on how fast you are in terms of reading the data sometimes this view in a nanosecond can be something that people have to really sit and study and oftentimes just being able to see the simple inputs can come from GPS even if you have an MXL2 or any of the additional data that's coming from a solo DL, an MXS, an MXG, or one of the original MXLs. This is a very quick way of being able to toggle between your data to be able to see very quick views and large areas of improvement that need to be made in your driving. And so using this user profile view helps you navigate very quickly between views, especially if you're bringing in data from people who have different aim systems as they're looking at it.